So Justin, you and the Hornets uh, went to Taiwan and you played in a uh, tournament, eight games in nine days. What was that experience like? Uh, it was really a great experience, you know, um, just being able to be involved with another country and, uh, you know, step outside of the box a little bit, you know, and grow as a team. It was really an awesome experience that, you know, I'll have with me forever. And, and what did, what do you uh, bring back for that? How will that help you for uh, this coming season? Well, I think it gets a lot of the younger guys ready who haven't had, uh, you know, much playing time. And I think that for the coaching staff to be able to bond with each guy on the team, and it just builds our chemistry up. And uh, tell me about some of the uh, the highlights. Certainly one of them was, was uh, arriving and, and playing India. Uh, the opening uh, opening day and, and uh, you wound up uh, beating them and you had the winning basket. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you know, after getting off a flight and being up for almost, you know, 24 hours, it was really challenging to get up for that game. But we knew it was such an honor just to be, you know, in the country and to have all those people there cheering for us. So we just tried to put our best foot forward. Um, I'm really happy we walked away with the win. And uh, it really uh, helped our team out that game, definitely. You're also going on a trip to, uh, to Costa Rica. And I know you guys also went uh, on a trip with the Aggies to, uh, to Italy and France, I believe. Yes, yes. What, what was that experience like? How did you benefit from that experience? Um, the, the first one to Italy and France, I think it was big, especially for a guy like me coming in as a true freshman at the time. It was real big to, to bond with the team, to be uh, my first time outside the country. It was uh, huge. And um, just to be able to see a, a different type of culture and everything, and then to piggyback and go on another trip again, I think um, I think we're both blessed to be able to go out the country again, and um, to experience it with a whole different group of people who haven't been on the trip yet. And um, I think it's going to be real good for us to bond, to get to get these practices in, to gel as a team, and then go out there and see what we're made of, and then build off of that into the season. Yeah, taking off what he what uh, Darius just said, um, it's it's a big chemistry building uh, for the team. Especially for us, um, kind of stepping into a leadership role, it's new for us, and so Costa Rica kind of helps us step into that role. I mean, games don't—they don't necessarily count for anything, but we still take very like it's important to us, mm -hmm. and so we want to go out there and win. And if we can, you know, work on our leadership skills, work on chemistry with the team, communication, all that kind of stuff, it's it's all practice for us, and we we we, we enjoy the opportunity. Yeah. And what about the chance to to experience another culture? Uh, and I think you guys are gonna, as I understand, we're gonna visit an orphanage. Is that right? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. I mean, again, that the visiting the orphanage is a very uh, humbling experience for all of us. You know, we all come from very different backgrounds. You know, and um, for us to see a different, you know, culture, different group, what they go through, and all that type of stuff, I think it would be really big for us to put everything back into you know a little perspective, especially us being. Um, college student athletes, you know, we get wound up and, you know, we stress over, you know, things that to them is not very, you know, is minimal compared to what they have to deal with. And, um, you know, also being able to go out there and experience a different culture, you know, work on our Spanish a little bit. So uh, we'll try to do all that type of stuff. Yeah, um, it's it's a big opportunity for us. Um, I think coming to Davis, we all, like, we all appreciate expanding our horizons. We're open to new ideas. Um, I think Visiting the orphanage and just visiting Costa Rica in general is good for, for us opening our horizons and learning a new culture, exposing us to different things that we've never seen before. Um, so that's, 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 it's all going to be great for us. And I think it's, I'm looking forward to the, to the trip. I just yeah. can't wait to go. Man. It's our translator right here. It's the Spanish guru. Right <laughs> it's easy to know. <laughs> with, uh, with some ex-NBA, or playing against some ex-NBA players. What was that experience like? Uh, it was a great experience as well. Um, being able to pick their brains a little bit while we were at the hotel and talk to them a little bit and also just picking up things they did on the court you know they carried themselves in a certain way as a pro should and we can take a lot from that for sure and of course uh one of your teammates uh jeff Wu, is uh pretty popular over there tell me what that experience was like uh, for him and, 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 and being with him uh well they treat jeff like a rock star out there you know um he, many people are coming up to him trying to get autographs, trying to take pictures, or just to uh, be able to shake his hand. It's really a humbling experience to see the people uh, love one of their own that much. And not only did they treat Jeff like that, but they were also coming along to a lot of us and uh, trying to get pictures, autographs, uh, just to get near us, you know. And it was truly a humbling experience to see how 
much they really loved basketball and cared about us. Practicing right now, it's August. It's, uh, it's not a typical time to be, uh, be playing uh, basketball, but you're getting ready for a trip to Costa Rica. Uh, tell me what the benefits of that uh, are for, for your team. Well, I, I think the obvious basketball benefits are, are the 10 days of practice, uh, you know, so getting a jump start on, on cohesion with this group and, and teaching them and getting them uh, familiar with defensive and offensive schemes and, and getting to play games over there. Um, but, but I think the real value is, you know, first of all, just the, the, the bonding and, and the cultural environment that uh, this group, that they're, they're an awfully fun group of student athletes to be around so uh, being able to travel abroad and spend time together and, and grow as a unit and grow as a family uh, only builds a great foundation for us to then come back and have a great season so I'm really excited about that and then the opportunity uh, a lot of our guys have not been out of the country so to have their first experience of being out of the country and experience a, a different culture a different way of living uh, I think is a, a lifetime opportunities and